Last night, we exposed that the Board of Investment signed a memorandum of understanding worth 2 billion US dollars for a project to build the tallest building in South Asia. Today, the Board of Investment responded to our expose. When looking further into the details pertaining to the company that is carrying out the investment, a considerable number of people on its board are of Sri Lankan origin. A number of comments were made claiming that there is no land selected for the project as well as the flow of investments. This investor is from which country? Uh, uh, based in uh, <coughs> UAE and also the, it's a sort of a conglomerate and so they also uh, they have What's a relation the name of the uh, investing is TUE World Capital. T? TUE World Capital. TUE World Capital. Correct. Okay. So that's not the original com com uh, single company, but a consortium of companies? Uh, companies and individuals, from what we are made to understand. Yeah. Uh, like, are there any Sri Lankan contacts or Sri Lankan. Uh, there are Sri Lankan directors on this. Well, when they incorporate a company in Sri Lanka, they always put the Sri Lankan directors. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of these companies, uh, is there a company called Al Aman uh, Group uh, Associated? They are connected with this, no? That they have established in Sri Lanka to okay. undertake this project. Okay, agreement is in Kaladin Sri Al Aman World Capital Center. Okay. Isra. Al Aman World Capital Center. The Daily Mirror reported that the BOI signed a memorandum of understanding worth 2 billion US dollars for the project. Speaking to News First, a director of Al Aman Group, Dr. Seneca Silva, said the project is only 1.2 billion US dollars. How much is the investment? The investment would be 1.2 billion at the end of the project. However, the document shown to us by the chairman of the Board of Investment says the project is 2.4 billion US dollars. We questioned the chairman of the BOI on the proposed site of the project. Then, Masa Tuna Katri, the land site, take me a level up it a supplementary agreement. A Kasankara no. Again, I mean, initial agreement to Kasanka was the Masa Tuna Katu, they go to land a bit one of the Abitakiana, Patanga no. I can make it here. Although the investment is in the billions, the agreement signed for foreign investment is only 200 million US dollars. Before the end of 31st of December this year, you must bring $200 million into the country. If you don't bring that amount, this agreement stands terminated. The chairman confirmed to News First that the BOI plans to bring the remaining funds in foreign investments and agreements are being drafted. They said the total investment is $2 billion or $2.4 billion. US dollars. After your money. Yeah. That number, I spoke to that person. He says it's 1.2 billion. Okay, 1.2. It does not matter if it is 1.2 billion or 2.4 billion. That is not the issue. Given the situation, 1.2 billion is a positive sign. The agreement says 2.4 billion US dollars. These are foreign investments. It is 2.4 billion. What comes out of it? What comes out of it? They must bring the funds. The first step is for 200 million US dollars. Two hundred has to be from foreign overseas. You cannot obtain that from Sri Lanka. Who is going to loan millions in Sri Lanka? Questions in this regard were also posed at the cabinet media briefing today. Dollar billion, 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 dollar